your boy Lewis back with another one on the Lewis Basketball Network. So I just want to say this. The hypocritical media talking about all of a sudden that Kevin Durant, uh, because he was hurt with his Achilles injury when it was supposed to quote unquote be a calf injury, they were they were gloating over the fact that the Warriors were winning without him. And then the Warriors go down 3-1 and that they desperately need Kevin Durant. And then now that Kevin Durant gets injured, why would you take that chance and then uh, re-injure yourself and look at you now? Now you got hurt again. This is why you can't, this is why I can't stand the media. You want a team to lose so bad that drafted their players. And all I keep hearing from from the from non-Warrior fans who can't stand the Warriors or who can't stand Kevin Durant who can't stand Steph Curry or Klay Thompson or any of those guys are always going, they're the greatest team ever assembled, you know, F them. The Warriors have been nothing but a class organization. It's like, I've heard some people even been saying that all the Warriors got were cheap, fake titles. Well, if the Warriors got three cheap, fake titles, then that means LeBron James got a cheap, fake title in 2016. Keep that same energy. If the Warriors got three championships in four years that were cheap fake titles and five straight NBA finals, then LeBron James got a cheap 2016 NBA finals championship. Because we got to keep it objective here. For people who keep saying that Kyrie and Kevin Love, we don't know that. We don't know that they're going to beat the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, they made a push in the six games. But remember, Kevin Love was healthy in 2016, and he really has not performed that well in the finals. In 2018, he actually did pretty good. He actually performed well. The other two years, he wasn't great. You saw what Kevin Love did in the last three finals. 2018, he actually played well. The other two, he was not great. And 2016, they had everybody healthy. Even if everybody is dinged up at this time of year. Everybody was, it was a full squad in 2016. But the Toronto Raptor fans... And like I said, I'm not going to hear generalize all of them because I'm pretty sure there were there were Raptor fans who were pretty who were pretty upset. And I even mentioned in the last video, Drake was pretty upset when it goes down because you want to beat the players at the best. I was looking forward to seeing that Kawhi KD matchup. I love the chippiness between him and Van Vliet when Van, uh, KD fouled Van Vliet. Like it, it was great. It was looking like it to be a great finals, man. Like it was going to be like a real great game. You got the two best players going at it in 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 you know in the respective conferences, East versus West. And the minute KD pops his Achilles, you see people in the crowd in the front row at courtside laughing. They're cheering that Kevin Durant got hurt. And I said it before and I'm going to say it again. I don't wish injuries on anybody, whether I love them or I hate them or I don't like them. I respect what they've done for the game of basketball. You respect athletes who put the time and who put the work in. You respect what they've done, man. You re- you respect the body of work. And for these fans out here to just cheer that, do you honestly think by doing that that you'd honestly deserve a championship now? And this is not against the Toronto Raptor players. And shout out to Serge Ibaka. I'm going to say it again. Kyle Lowry. Kawhi Leonard. Shout out to those three. Serge Ibaka is good friends with Kevin Durant. And I know he felt bad. Kevin Durant sacrificed his life, his career, to help Golden to help the Golden State Warriors come back from a 3-1 deficit in game five. His 11 points were the most 11 point, were the most important 11 points in that game. Yes, Steph Curry hit a big time shot. We already know Kawhi went on a personal 10-0 run. Had the Raptors up six. We know that the Splash Brothers went on a 9-2 run to win the basketball game by one point on their three threes. But ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Durant's 11 points were the most important points of the game. And what was most important was his ability to help space the floor where you could not double team Steph and Clay, where you cannot use the box in one defense on both guys, especially Steph. KD looked in rhythm early. And the worst part is if you saw Kawhi Leonard, he had to guard Kevin Durant. And what was Durant doing? He was shooting over the top of him. 
what Kevin Durant's injury did is it lifted the Warriors. They were defl- they were deflated, but it but it boosted their spirits up, and they just had to keep playing because they there was no really time to 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 mourn over the injury. If you question Kevin Durant's toughness, if you question Kevin Durant's heart, because the media was out here talking about KD doesn't really give a damn about the team. They were even making up stories saying that KD apparently had left the team because he already had one foot out the door in free agency. That like, And the, then the Warriors were frustrated with the front office and the doctors as to when uh, with these reports on when Kevin Durant is going to play. The Warrior doctors deserve the blame for clearing Kevin Durant to play when we all knew that Kevin Durant had not had a full five-on-five practice session. They talking about saying that he's all good and all, all this nonsense. He had two light practices and he did not look good. He looked good when the game is when the game was there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm always I'm always gonna say this. It doesn't matter how hard you train, it doesn't matter how much you work out, it doesn't matter how much you practice. Where it counts is when you're on the floor. Where it counts is when you're on the baseball field. Where it counts is when you're on the football field. When it counts is when you're in the wrestling ring. Because you had not played any sustainable type of play for a long time. So now you have to get used to the pace. You have to get used to every, you have to get used to everything that you had been away from. And the way Kevin Durant was shooting the ball, he hadn't skipped a beat, at least when he was still in standstill. What I said was I had to see him off the dribble. He actually did a good, solid job defensively, but then it was off the dribble. Once he went off the dribble, that was it. That was it for him. And like I said, the media is kind of talking all like this, that I knew it was a serious injury, this and that. You guys were pushing him to play. You guys were pushing him to play. At the end of the day, it's Kevin Durant's decision. But now the media is going to come out here like if they honestly felt bad when it's like you guys showed your hater. You've been drinking that warrior hater raid for the longest. And I, and I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Kevin Durant's injury now looms large for the free agency. I mean, Kevin Durant just showed you heart. He was willing to sacrifice. But yeah, we sitting over here making excuses for LeBron's groin injury when he played in the All-Star game, why was he part of the draft? Well, he had to he had to kind of be because he was, you know, he was picked the captain. But then you had consist, inconsistent reports all year, and then when LeBron finally sits out due to load management or for rest purposes because the Lakers were eliminated out of playoff contention, his therapist comes out with a confidential report, puts it out on Twitter that he should have been out for six months, but he came back in six weeks. But yet Kevin Durant repops his Achilles tendon and we're cheering that. And I don't wish injuries on LeBron James. I just wish he would stop controlling the narrative. That's all it is with LeBron James. Because he gets a t- oh, They keep talking about this hate when he gets a ton of excuses. That's the issue I have with LeBron James. The fact that he likes to control narratives and people make excuses along with him. Every time something goes wrong, it's like he always has to bring up his career accomplishments. I don't give a damn about that. I know that, man. I know about you being a three-time champion, four-time finals, uh, four-time regular season MVP, three-time finals MVP. Everybody knows that. And constantly telling people, oh, you know what I'm about. You know know what I've done. Like, stop. I don't want to hear that. We're talking about the game, and you're mentioning all this crap, trying to to exclude the blame off of yourself. Stop. But then Kevin Durant goes out. He ball. He tries to ball out, and he gets injured. Everybody knows about Kevin. Kevin is sensitive. Kevin with the burner accounts. KD is a snake and all that. I'm gonna say this right now. For whatever you had to say about Kevin Durant with those things, you cannot question his heart any longer. You can't. And the Raptor fans showing disrespect and the media lying. Lying about Kevin Durant, it's pure haterism at its finest, man. Because now what you're doing now is is that now people who were turned off by the fact that you cheer for a guy getting hurt and guy leaving the court, even Drake, Drizzy himself, was pissed off when he saw that injury. Because here's the thing now. Now that Kevin Durant's hurt and then the Warriors lose, now it's going to be, I don't want to hear excuses. You know, 
that Kevin Durant was hurt and all this kind of stuff, that's what's going to happen. That's why, I, that's why I wish Kevin Durant would play so that if the Warriors did lose, the Raptors, they could have a legit victory and that the Warriors would not have an, an excuse. And the Warriors are not making excuses. It's the fans along with certain members of the media. That's what, that's what it is. And, it, and it's disgusting. It, it really is disgusting. I, I don't understand it, really. I, I, just, I don't, man. No player, no matter what, deserves that. No player. I don't wish that on anybody. Kevin Durant was helping the Warriors space the floor. They looked confident. They played much better defensively. Kawhi Leonard was getting much more double teams. Kawhi was turning the but people forget how, how frequently Kawhi was turning the ball over in the first quarter when, with the presence of Kevin Durant. He helped them defensively to where it's like now they could trap Kawhi Leonard. Without Kevin Durant there, it's harder to trap Kawhi. He gets more single coverage because of how deep the Raptors are. The Golden State Warriors could take a little more chances when Kevin Durant is in the game, and you saw it in the first quarter. Kevin Durant was a big lift, even if he only played 12 minutes, but they were the most important 12 minutes of the game, believe it or not. Even with the 9-2 run of the Splash Brothers, you take those 11 points away, the Golden State Warriors are going home. They're going home. The Warriors would have come back, but I doubt they would have had enough to come all the way back. That KD injury kept them on their edge and on their toes, knowing that every possession counts, and they still almost lost the game. They only won by one. Remember, Golden State hitting, what, 15 threes, I believe, in game five or 16 threes? Three of them were by Kevin Durant. Huge three-pointers, by the way. And uh, it's it's sad to see that we have people out here who, you know, you don't have to know a person. You don't have to know Kevin Durant personally. They'll be like, oh, do you know Kevin Durant personally? That's not the point. The point is a man sacrificed his career to help his team win an NBA Finals game in the finals, down three games to one, and got and got re-injured. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, boy, this is your boy Lewis with another one, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man, on this hate from the media. And I blame also the organization. Like I said, these doctors, you have to listen to your body. These doctors forcing Kevin Durant play in this Orioles organization, probably knowing that he's a free agent. It's crazy, man. That's ridiculous. But, yo, the Warrior players, man, they show their love and admiration for KD. It just shows you right there. That's a true basketball team. Whether you love them or hate them, the Warriors have done it the right way. Cheap, fake-ass titles, like, really? Come on, man. Y'all being super petty for, for the stupidest things being triggered because y'all team ain't winning or your player ain't winning, so stop it. Anyway, as always, blessed up, one love. Peace. Thanks for watching. DJ. Yeezy just jumped over, jump, man. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy just jumped over, jump, man. Yeezy, 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 I feel so accomplished. I done talked a lot of shit, but I just did the numbers. Herzog and Adidas, man. You know